Another car break-in in San Francisco. This time, burglars break into an expensive exotic sports car in the Marina District. Video shared by the car's owner going viral on social media. This crime, though, adding to the long list of break-ins happening in the city. Crown Forge Dan Thorne is live in San Francisco tonight. He joins us with more on the story. Dan. Well, Pam, we're starting to see more of these frustrating crimes popping up in certain parts of the city. Uh, people seem to be taking a really big risk just by parking their cars out in their own neighborhoods now. And this family was not expecting somebody to break in to their expensive Lamborghini right outside of their home. A luxury sports car becomes the latest high-profile target of a break-in in San Francisco. The side windows were found busted out on this 2013 Lamborghini Gallardo. The items inside, stolen. It's pretty heartbreaking. Like, when you first see it, your heart just drops. And then you know it's just going to be a big pain to clean it all. It took like eight hours to clean all the uh, glass on the ground. Kendrick Moss says the car was parked outside of his family's Marina District home overnight Friday. They left the Lambo on the street because they were cleaning out the garage. What he found the next morning was frustrating. My parents were living here for 20 years and they were saying that none of this stuff ever happened when they first moved here. So it is, it is unfortunate to see. A typical Lamborghini can go for about $200,000, but because this car is supercharged, that dramatically increases the price tag. Learn it to never park on San Francisco streets overnight. Ma shared video of the car following the break-in on TikTok. It caught the attention of hundreds of thousands of viewers, many commenting that Ma deserved it for leaving the car on the street. Ma argues he and his family should not have to worry about parking their car in their neighborhood, but they will be keeping it in the garage from here on out. At the end of the day, it, it is like a violation of like privacy and it, it feels bad to see that happen, but it could have been a lot worse. Well, Ma is thankful that he did not leave anything too valuable behind in the car. It was just a few small personal items that were that were taken. Um, his family is now looking at uh, installing security cameras in this area and also uh, in, in the Lamborghini itself, the dashboard cams that we've been seeing in a lot of uh, newer model vehicles. SFPD has reported so far this year that citywide auto burglaries are down, but in specific spots, a lot of the tourist areas, especially Fisherman's Wharf, which is in the Central District, has seen a sharp increase so far this year. Pam?